This episode of On The Spot is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Order giant freshly dipped strawberries starting at only $19.99. That's over a 40% savings. Double the berries for just $10 more. Go to berries.com, click on the microphone, and use the code on the spot. That's code on the spot at berries.com. Hello boys and girls, my first guest is a talented female artist with striking red hair who works at Rooster Teeth starring in and editing videos for the internet's enjoyment. She also has the joy of working alongside her significant other who is known for being a crazy loud person who makes Let's Plays also for the internet. Everyone, welcome back my reigning champion, Mackenzie Turney. Both of us get it? Yes. My third guest is a member of our foreign exchange program where we bring unskilled, untalented members from another country here to star in and Everyone, welcome Aaron Marquis. Hey, what? <laughs> hey, how's it going? My fourth and final guest is a person who made his break in the film industry as a child star, who uh, performed in many big name productions alongside some very famous celebrities. His most notable role was, of course, that of playing the sad little weird kid in the attic during Never Ending Story. Everyone, put your arm up in the air and say, Yeah, it's Chris Demers. Oh, A I'm your host, John Reiser. Welcome to On the Spot. Brain was like still stuck on the Thanksgiving episode, and I was like, "Oh, we can cut here." Nope, you can't. Should, Let's just keep going. Ashley Simpson hoedown. That's what you should have done. Oh yeah, cover. you yeah. should have done this. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. She did that, didn't she? Yeah. He's not Sometimes. actually talking right now. This is all pre-recorded. <laughs> all pre-recorded. <laughs> fun fact: If you look up Bastion, the good kid who played it from Nevering Story, not a fun picture to look up how he looks now. He's kind of kind of creepy now. He kind of got Aww. kid bloat. He, uh, he kind of kind of went <laughs> a little down the creepy Aaron. route. And it ended badly. Yeah. Well, welcome to On the Spot, uh, Roosty's official game show where um, hosts screw up the intros every once in a while. Uh, we have a few orders of business. Our first thing is team names. My champions, we have your team name already. Um, the wonderful Free Team Willy. Free Willy. Um, and so, you newbies, I need a team name. Um, Aaron and Chris, what's your team name? How about Team Meat Team? Team Meat Team. Team T-E-A-M-M-E-A-T, T-E-A-M. Yeah. He Where's the bell earlier. ring for when he team spells it right? Meet yeah. Team. What's the origin story? That's why he story? spelled I wouldn't have spelled it right. The origin yeah. story is I was walking across the parking lot with them saying they need a team name. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that was what they came up with. That's pretty creative, well, guys. Hey, That's team a pretty good story. Super Meat Boy, so it's a good name. Yeah. Team Meat oh. Team. And it's yeah, a palindrome. So, yeah. hashtag <laughs> Team Free Willy, hashtag Team Meat Team. Our second order of business is that we need prompts Some from you for our game later on for impromptu pitch. What we need is you guys to use the hashtag, hashtag on the spot, and send us a celebrity name, a film genre, and a location. And we will use the good ones for our pitch later, and we will forget the bad ones ever existed. So again, that's a celebrity name, a place, and a film genre. And we'll use a couple of those later on um, in the show. I read gender. What? Just gonna let you know. Just in, gen- yeah. just in general? It's instead of genre. Oh, instead of genre. Like how messed up my I thought you were just like saying that. Like, I, just like, I was like, are you trying to throw them under the Tumblr? No, what no, Lindsay's Lindsay known for saying random things every once in a while. She just, you know, when quiet happens, Lindsay just, I read gender. Girls, I'm talking with them, let me know. It's called monologue. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about observational comedy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't she's, trying to take, she's trying to take the heat away from you fucking up the intro. I appreciate anything we can do to take the heat away. We had forgotten about it until you mentioned it. Yeah, let's just keep mentioning it over and over again. I'll pour beer on myself oh, on stage. <laughs> this is why we do live stuff. Um, let's move on to our first game, our new game, Cunning Linguistics, where we went on to uh, Urban Dictionary. We found a few uh, words or phrases from Urban Dictionary, and we're going to ask you guys to come up with definitions. Um, we'll go to each team for each def- um, word, and you guys will have two opportunities to come up with definition to try to guess the right definition. If you can't get it right, nice we'll go over to the other team. They'll have one opportunity to come up with a rebuttal to your definitions. Um, the, either the people who get it right or get it uh, the funniest get the points. Um, and Chris me. is really digging into Aaron yeah, with that. That was oh, wow. hot. Sure, loosening him up. Um, I don't think at this point you're not loosening him up. You're really just like creeping him I'm up. I'm all tense now. <laughs> <laughs> more tense. Aaron's going to need a doll to show a judge where you, you were touching him. Okay. Um, all over. So we're going to go with um, our first word from uh, Urban Diction. We're going to go with Team Meat Team. Make the noob start it off. Um, your word or phrase is business shower. Um, gentlemen, what is a business shower? Um... Chris, you look so eager well, and bright I'm very familiar with. It's, okay. <laughs> is this the kind of shower that transports you to Whole Foods? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Uh, so a business shower is when you're trying to make that hard sell and they're not buying. They just keep, you're like, all right, let's, we're not seeing eye to eye here. Let's take it to the shower. <laughs> And then oh, that oh. is when you, anything Take goes. The there's no cameras in the shower. No, anything. <laughs> do you mean literally million dollar businesses are made and broken in the business shower? <laughs> You're not gonna partner with us. I'll blackmail you, asshole. Oh I'm like, do man! It. I, I, like, if right. you settle it and smash, it's gonna be like, take it to the shower. <laughs> 
for a while there, I really thought you were being figurative about it and I that kind of thing. Let's take it to the shower. You went literal. Yeah. Let's find a shower. Let's finish this meeting. Wow. Why do you think Rooster Teeth has a shower <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the bathroom? Yeah. I, you know, I thought it was for cleaning. There's only but, one, though. Is it like, you, you gotta share need one. You gotta yeah. share, man. Absolutely. Um, Get a little close for warmth like yeah. penguins. Let's take it to the shower. <laughs> let's take it to the business shower. How do you think I got an AH? <laughs> <laughs> take it to the shower. Um... Pending that not being the definition, let's go to Aaron. Um, Aaron, what do you think? Well, the real definition is, so you know baby showers, right? It's where you show up and the person is going to, uh, uh, they're, sh- they're having a baby, but the thing is they don't get to keep the baby and you sell it right there. That's a business shower. You, you get presents. <laughs> That's called an adoption. You had a path that had nothing to do well, with then selling I babies. the path wasn't any good and You're I had to jealous. change it. Had this road and you went, ah. Let's go to selling children. Selling children is always why not? The best it's always way. a good That's idea. Where the yuck what's, yucks what's great is whenever the American you, way. you can't settle the argument about who's buying the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's, who's buying this kid? So then you take it to the you business to the shower, shower to discuss. <laughs> there you go. The business shower. All oh, rise for the case of Damaris. There's <laughs> just so much fervor going on over here. I'm I all like... tense from that massage. <laughs> God damn it. I see it. You got like veins popping out. I know. I'm very too. vascular right now. I'm very vascular. He does that on the very right. Vascular. Oh, that's just natural. That's just natural. <laughs> um, that's just na- natural vascularism. Aaron um, just wakes up in the morning and pulsates. Too. So I... I <laughs> <laughs> the camera didn't get that motion, but there was something. It went something of, like this. <laughs> You're like um, Bane moving. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> toxin through. Those it. weren't the answer. Oh, okay. Um, they were good. Well, one of them was good. <laughs> and, and, and how many points did you get? One of them went dark. Um, ladies, you have one opportunity. Who thinks they got a good answer? Lindsay, do you feel good about yours? I feel pretty good. Okay, go for okay, it. Okay, Lindsay's got... throw this out there. Similar note, uh, when you you have a baby shower or a bridal shower, people are excited. They come over. They celebrate with you. This is in the instance of, hey, I'm starting a business. And, you know, whatever your business, that's your own business. So... You're like, hey, just trying to work. Bi- There's no yeah. bonus points for using no, the word saying, like, you know, business. If you want to talk business yeah, ethics, business guys, yeah, I've business. got some business. We're doing business leisure later on. Yeah, point in case though. Uh, yeah, <laughs> point in case. <laughs> Dust the joke. Anywho. <laughs> What, was there a definition there? <laughs> I'm pausing for dramatic okay. effects. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> no, seriously though, you just sort of shower whenever you're like, hey, I'm starting a business. I want you guys to come over and celebrate, have oh, some food with me, enjoy uh, the fact that I'm sell starting a baby. So there's no yeah. actual showering. And then you hold up a child and say, oh, uh, what is it, like 3,000, 3,000 for the baby, baby? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby so baby. In, in your definition, is it that you actually have a shower? Yeah, or so you're actually it, celebrating. There's no selling like, of children. Yeah. What well, Aaron was like almost going to yes. before I, I want to say that's not right. I feel like nobody took it literal enough. I feel like it's you got to important meeting you get a little scrubby scrub on before Ooh, you go to your meeting that's called a like, horse bath <laughs> which a is also a uh, shower depending on what business a you're horse in I can tell. Like yeah. we have a fan favorite in the making right here to my left um, uh, that was horse bath in case you didn't hear it um, French horse bath no one got that right um, good definitions um, yeah I, Chris sorry um, the real definition of a business shower is an intimate shower two people take solely to save time. So it's a shower you take with two with another person, but there's no like sexual solely anything going on. Save, there's yeah. no one <laughs> like, in this world who needs to save, you save that water, much time. You save time. You pee Sadly in that enough, shower, right? Oh, uh, you <laughs> yeah. gotta. Yeah. Do you whatever gotta. you do to save time. Yeah. I've never done that you with show a person, boss. but I've done it with my cat life yeah. experience. Oh, I do it yeah. with my dog all the time. Yeah, you're like, you're filthy. Get in there. Nobody clipped right. that part out. I've done it with my cat. Just just zero in on that sound bite and just make that go rampant on the internet. Um Thanks, Prince. So yeah. It, it wasn't this, but solely on the fervor he had behind his um, definition. I'm going to give points to Chris on that one. Nice. You were close to you. Two people want, in there. Two I wanted to give there. points for you using the tactic of, of just repeating a word over and over <laughs> business, again yeah. um, to make you kind of think that the, the connection was there. If you like but, my um, business card after this, I'll give it to just you. Just <laughs> Lindsay Jones, business, 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 business. You want my child after this? Business. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the joke. Okay. And move on. Okay. okay. <laughs> next round. Uh, <laughs> in nine months, your order will be received. Uh, our next word for uh, Team Free Willy. What is our word? Our word is beef walk. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ladies, what is oh. a beef walk? You got it, Lindsay? I'm going to have to demonstrate this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't dip no, your no, vagina no. in anything. <laughs> well, you know, we're already talking about beef. Right. Okay, what's a beef walk? Well, uh, a common nomenclature for uh, vagina is sometimes beef curtains. That's right. So I'm thinking a beef walk is when... You know, your underwear gets a little bit into you, and it's very uncomfortable. And you're like trying this, to walk and keep yourself. This motion yeah, like, when you were describing what that. happens <laughs> violently. So you kind of do like an Elvis Presley walk to walk it off. You don't want to bring oh, attention it's like the front to wedge. Oh. the front wedge. 
<laughs> I, you know, I was worried when you That's said you needed one. to to uh, to example this, but um, that that yeah. paid off really well. So um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, uh, like, Meg, get out of there. Yeah, gotta think, get it out of there. I do think beef curtains is where I was going originally, but it's also like a man's meat. Yeah. It's like if you're going for it, you need it. You're getting you are ready to go. You go out, you do the beef walk to see who you're gonna take home. <laughs> that's the opposite. That means of you're gonna the, uh, be bringing the back the to your beef, beef curtains. That's the beef run. That's <laughs> the Don't run. The you're walk gonna of shame happens after the beef, the beef walk. walk. Yeah, you okay. do the beef walk, then you do the walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it sounds like with how confident you are, it's like it's a very swag kind of walk. Oh, like, yeah. oh, I'm going for a beef Girl, walk. I'm going on that yeah. beef walk. It could be sexual or for food. You're like, shit, I'm getting a hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Whatever you do in the comfort of your own home is your own business. <laughs> no judgment here. Um, those were good. They, those weren't the definition. Oh, Damn. man, I felt good about it. I like those a lot. Um, you guys were actually talking with each other to come up with the definition, well, so I'm really hoping that this is good. We were talking about the real definition of beef walk, and it's when you're at the county fair, and you know, you're walking around, it's like a cakewalk, except there's a cow right there instead of <laughs> cake, and you're walking around until the music stops, and when the music stops, you get that cow. Ooh. You just, you attack the cow. It's fine, cow. get. <laughs> well, you have an axe. Everyone has an axe. <laughs> and an as soon as you stop, you, you, you take your swipe with the you axe. You missed that <laughs> fine point of the beef walk, which involved everyone getting an axe. Everyone has a weapon. <laughs> the show, we're going on a beef walk. They give walk. them out Wait. before the carnival starts. Yeah. At the yeah. beginning of this definition, you said when you go to a carnival and there's cakewalks. What's a cakewalk? No, no. Walk? You never did a cakewalk? This no. guy, <gasps> negative points for John for not knowing what a cakewalk is. Negative points for you magical. for telling me negative points. Point, double negative points for John. Uh, a cake walk, okay, news. when you, a cake walk is when you're going around in a circle. Everyone's in a circle, okay. and you walk around like whatever counterclockwise while the music's going. Thank when you the music, for that, that detail. When the music stops, <laughs> if you're on you the take spot, take your axe to the cake. <laughs> that's for a beef walk. When you, when the music stops and you're on the spot that says you win a cake, you win the cake. Yeah, that's, you just get a cake. No, you're they making this up. No, that's, it's real. No, they have it for beef and they cakes. Also, uh, and it's also on that '70s show. You know, if you happen to watch one of the best TV shows of all time. So that's why they said there's actually an origin behind it was total cake walk. Because that's an easy way to win a cake. Yeah, you just literally just walk in a circle. Or beef. You learn something, people. You learn... No, not beef. <laughs> I don't think anybody... Um, learned. I think people already knew cake walk. Um, I learned something, people. <laughs> yeah. This is why I made hey, the show. who taught you that? Business. Points. That man who tried to take your points away. <laughs> Crafty one over here. Um, none of those are the definition. Uh, the real definition was... Going away from a group in order to fart. So what? you gotta fart. What? Oh, you gotta beef. So you, you, you I get beef. it. So you gotta walk away. You know, it's a nice thing people do, you know? Uh, that hey just guys, is, I gotta go check that thing right over there about 20 feet away. <laughs> I'll be right back. Follow me. <laughs> I well, do the opposite. All right, it was nothing. <laughs> Why don't you just call it a fart walk? I yeah. mean, well, Wouldn't a beef walk too be like, I'm pissed off at you and I'm gonna come at you? It's like, this is my beef walk. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Beef yeah. Either, I'm gonna bring the beef yeah. unless Absolutely. I go on this beef walk. Or you're like, where is the beef? And then you go on a journey yeah. to find it. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, I do the opposite of the beef walk because I can't smell, so I try to punish people who can't smell. John's like, I felt it. I used to do a thing where if I was in a car with my buddies and I was driving i'd lock the windows and then rip you ass yeah. turn up the heat <laughs> yeah. so turn the heat. Spoils. <laughs> just just make it a box of That's just shame. Shame. Right. um michael likes to do the thing where he'll give me a hug and then fart in the middle of the hug and i'm like no i want to leave and he's like nope you can't there needs to be a name me. for that that, that, that deserves a title that's called yeah. love um, that's just called love um <laughs> so man. beef love uh so i'm gonna have to give points for that walk to Miss Lindsay. Oh, thank you. Um, and actually, the definition was actually made a lot of sense. That's a total. Like, little, I do just it daily. Get that out of there. It's part of my um, struggle. The beef walk. What was the definition? I don't know. Underwear, even <laughs> definition was walking yes. from far. Yeah. Um, all right, our next word is morning skinny. Ooh. Uh, gentlemen, mm. what's what's a morning skinny? Uh, hmm. You seem disgusted by what came to mind, Aaron. Well, I'll go with. I think really, it's not the funny definition. <laughs> I would think. Does it, it involve <laughs> selling children? No, it doesn't. Because that's time. where the funny is, apparently. Aaron it's, looks traumatized. He's like messing with his drink. And <laughs> <laughs> it's Aaron suffers from a all day morning skinny. No, no, we're gonna, we'll, we'll, go the co- we'll go the coffee route. It's where you're uh, you're going to get coffee okay. and you don't want the heavy cream. Yeah. Um, this is all yeah. sexual innuendo. Uh, you, you don't want the heavy cream, so you get the uh, skim in your coffee. Yeah. The morning skinny. Uh, Always the uh, best. Or it could be wow. someone with a skinny penis. No, uh, we'll go with the coffee thing. <laughs> You have to Absolutely. pick. You can't just no, have coffee. Mul- then coffee. Then your definition is not multiple choices. Is what it is. <laughs> no coffee. None coffee. Of the above. Coffee. Morning skinny, Morning skinny is latte. when you go get a skinny. Mm. A skinny whatever you get. Coffee latte. Yeah. Pumpkin. You don't do that. You, you're like leaf. you're like an old mm. man. You I drink, drink like bourbon black. in the mornings. <laughs> Black bourbon and in the, the morning. Afternoon. Damn, um, um, <laughs> nice warm. Nobody's questioning your man. Look at my yeah. shirt. I drink bourbon. Yeah. In the morning. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling like Sean Connery. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Yeah. 
Nice. That shirt. Yeah, that screams it's at you in the morning. Um, Chris. <laughs> well, I already kind of gave my definition. It was something, you know, something that it's 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 whenever you have a, a morning wood. Yes. And a girl sees that you have a morning. Keep in wood. mind, you're on my team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it's where she's uh, less impressed by your morning. It's it's a small. It's oh. like it's like a. It's more like a. Um, like what's that really soft wood that can just break? <laughs> I don't know. Balsa. Your penis? Balsa. A yeah. Twig? <laughs> Your penis. <laughs> so yeah, it's just it's just a really kind of weak uh, morning, morning wood. wood. Just so very much like about like you, a, I think, right? a happy. A happy. That's a semi. Yeah, that's a semi. That's a semi morning. A happy. Yeah. Um, no. Oh, okay. No. Uh, the answer is no to either of those. Um, Liz, I feel good about mine. Do you think? Please, I, okay. Please, thank well, I mean, you. Gus, I'm so sorry. The morning skinny, I think, is like you went home a little early last night and your friend tells you what happened after you left. He Ooh. gives you the morning. Like the, the skinny is like what's yeah. happening. So it's like the update on what happened last yeah. night. You get the morning skinny. Is that going to be the name of the next no show is the morning, the morning skinny? skinny. <laughs> morning skinny. <laughs> Girl, you would not believe what oh, happened last night on the news. Oh, mm, This <laughs> happened. And then, okay. Um... No, that wasn't oh, the definition. I really good about uh, But I do want to see that as, as a title for the no show. Um, let's find out what the real definition was. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what about? Lindsay had a mild stroke. <laughs> um, the definition is that magical time between your morning dump and your first meal. Damn it. So, so many girls know this, too. You've, you've, uh, you've you vacated. You take a sexy Instagram photo? Do it during the morning skin? Yeah, you vacated the bowels, and you haven't... Uh, broken the fast. That's when you so. weigh yourself in the morning. Yeah, that's Maybe right. That. See, that's I was what, thinking along with Chris, I was going that route where it'd be like the morning skinny is the, the erect penis after either a night of a lot of sex, so your dick's kind of like, mm. uh, it's like, oh, it's rough around There's the edges. Yeah. It's not quite as thick as you want it to be. The, blood, the blood flow's not good. Yeah. Why but, you just eat your, oh, sorry. Go that's ahead. cool. I was just thinking like if you want to add on to that, but you're still into it, you want to have the sex, it's called skinny dipping. <laughs> oh, that's oh. good. I just feel like I've learned so much about your dick and Michael's dick in yeah, the like, uh, like five minutes of time. I like hearing Lindsay just say, <laughs> you know, you want the sex. <laughs> Why don't you just eat your meal on the toilet? <laughs> Before your business shower. That's a totally different uh, phrase. <laughs> your business shower. <laughs> We're just lumping everything into the bathroom all at once. Um, that's a tough one to pick. Uh... I'm going to go, I, for some reason, I actually want to go with your definition. I don't even remember my definition. Um, nice. Latte. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, yours was horrible. Never mind. I'm going to rub it totally pull that away. I, I, I remembered yours in, in full length now. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go with yours. Yours actually made a lot, yours you. made a lot more you. sense. Um, so, points to Team Free Willy on that one. Thank you. Um, our fourth and Breaking final word victory, is, right? ladies, what's a fogot? Uh, I'm going to say it's, uh, you know, that Vietnamese cuisine that's so delicious, pho. Uh, and it's uh, if somebody ate too much pho and they're like so full, they like just pho got to do the rest of the stuff they have to do today. Oh, like like yeah. amnesia right, from eating too like, much pho. It's like a food coma, but it's special. <laughs> <laughs> a food coma that happens in the brain. Right. I and if you've had pho, it happens. Like yeah. you've got to cancel true. your plans because it's so good. <laughs> yeah, did you see me earlier in this broadcast? <laughs> oh, was that, did you have pho? Yeah. I, I hate I, you. Why I, didn't you I take me? I forgot all over the place. Oh, God, yeah. I forgot all over the place. Um, forgot to invite me to pho. <laughs> Lindsay, what do you think a fogot is? See, I'm thinking it's more of like a photography thing, again, just because of the root. If I take the root of the word, probably is associated with photography, but I'm thinking. <laughs> we're, you, going, we're going like that. Yeah, you just want to analyze the, this. The root of the yeah. word. <laughs> if we're looking at the business of the word here, um, <laughs> we're going to see. Yeah, so photo, fogot is where someone took a photo of you. But you were so plastered at said party that you completely forgot it happened. You're oh. like, oh my god, I forgot. That I is forgot. great. Yeah, that, yours is way better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll pop up on Facebook later, and you're like, oh my god, that's yeah, embarrassing. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of those. I forgot. Um, but it's it's not the definition. No. Uh, really? So we will go to uh, team. What was your team name again? Uh, team team meet team. Team meet team. team. Well, as you and uh, we know. I feel like you're talking a lot for team meet team. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we we're consulting. Yeah, we're consulting. consulting. Yeah. You, want, you can say, Chris, I feel bad now. <laughs> well, I was, you were very, very, very close. You were. <laughs> both of you. You both got part of it right. All right. It does involve a pho, pho restaurant, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's whenever the server forgets the, the food, oh. forgets the soup. He forgot it. He forgot. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he forgot. Because I don't know yeah. if you know that. That's just like a giant ass. There's no pho getting that because it's huge. It's like they give you a bathtub. Which I mean, like, well, yeah. well or it, it's okay, hard. He forgot, he forgot, forgot some the, things. Uh, the little crabby crab. Crab wontons. The crab wontons. <laughs> that they what, is put what is this uh, motion <laughs> for crab, crab wontons? Crab. Is that what you do when you go to the restaurant? Like, I just want one of these. Just just bring me a yeah. lot of these. That's the beef walk. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. No, beef walk's W-O-K. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
if it was a f- like, are you referencing like food forgot? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. wouldn't it be spelled with an F? No, no. it'd be it, with the little it's weird the, thing they put over the O. It's, <laughs> it, 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 like, it's offending so many people. Yeah. It rolls right, off the yes. tongue with the same sound. Um, that, that wasn't the definition either. Oh. Um, we're we'll going ahead and find out the real definition. Real definition of forgot is uh, when you're sidetracked and forgot to do something on your phone. So, like when you oh, go to your phone to do okay. something, when you get sidetracked and you forget what you forgot, oh, what you were going to go do. I do that a lot you know? in mid text message. I'm like, why haven't they answered me? Oh, I didn't send it yet. Well, sometimes, <laughs> sorry. I was just going to say, sometimes servers take in uh, no, shut meals up. from their no. phone. No. <laughs> Um, forgetting actually uh, close to the actual forgetting part of the nature of it. Um, uh, I'm going to go with Team Free Willy. On Thank that you. Part. You I feel good about um, uh, you. Yeah. You're, you're taking the picture was close to the phone. Do you know how many photos I've forgotten? Yeah, it's like my entire Facebook library. It's like, it's like, it's like a fun little, little mm. down. Untag that, untag yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, definitely, I definitely don't want to be in that. Um, exactly. So that's the end of Cunning Linguistics. Let's find out what our score is at the end of our first game. Our score is uh, oh, really uh, win with I 30 points. On you, and, uh, I team, did. I heard that. <laughs> team me, team with 10. Uh, so, gentlemen, um, you need to do better. That's all I can <laughs> say. Oh, well, no it. shit, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're making me tense Your again. Your livestock shirt is not healthy. <laughs> There's so much touching going on. He does the touching, you do the speaking. I get how this relationship works. Aaron, would you touch a beer? Ass, and he's like, <laughs> just, I'm puppeting Thank here. you for having us here today, John. I'm really glad that we're on the show. Um, Aaron, beer Lindsay. Would you beer me? Beer me strength. <laughs> you, Thanks, got the, you got That's the... Um, the well, you're gonna need this. Um, let's move on to our second game, impromptu pitch. Um, we asked uh, Twitter for a yes. few things um, to use for our pitches involving a person, a place, and a genre. And uh, we also have physical props that our teams are gonna have to come up with a film pitch. They're gonna pitch to me, the big studio exec. Best pitch that I like gets points. You guys have 60, 60 seconds on the clock to do the pitch, and you can only do the pitch one person at a time, and I will choose when you switch between people. Um, we're gonna start with Team yes. Free Willy as our first okay. pitch. <clears throat> Team Free Willy, what are your prompts? Oh. Uh, your prompts are Danny DeVito, suspense film in space from Captain QWO. Um, Danny DeVito, uh, suspense film in space with a GameCube. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Snap. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so we got a GameCube, Danny DeVito in space. Make it suspenseful. Um, we'll start off with Lindsay. Six seconds on the clock. Lindsay, go. The year is 3050 AD. A lone man floats in the abyss of space wondering what happened to his Meg. GameCube, which he's been looking for since he was a child. Mm-hmm. It is actually the last thing his father gave to him Lindsay. before he l- left him and his family to go explore uh, clowning, clown college, actually. So uh, as he's floating through space, Danny DeVito remembers Meg. that... That his father told him when he gave him the GameCube that it was actually haunted, and uh, he had to solve the mystery of why it was haunted. Lindsay. It contains the ghost of an alien race that was lost eons ago that is floating somewhere around the rings of Saturn, which is where Danny's okay. DeVito is located during this trailer that we're Meg. explaining. <laughs> so he finds the GameCube, and he unleashes this otherworldly hell that he okay. has to figure out how to contain uh, once again Lindsay. in the GameCube. Yeah, so he must contain all of the alien ghosts as well as the time portal that he has ripped open into space, essentially a black hole. Once he's there, he finds Matthew McConaughey. Meg. <laughs> <laughs> who tells him that he knew his father and that his father always loved him and the only reason that he left him and his family was because Lindsay. It, there was another console that was created <laughs> it was far superior uh, the name of this film is I'm just thinking like Gabe Cubism <laughs> like Space Cube maybe Space Game Cubism yeah okay uh, fantastic job! I can't. This feels like you guys made turn this into like some sort of Ghostbusters like oh, yeah, bring trap. Back in. Like yeah. yeah, get them all in. <laughs> um, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Disc that disc will stop Matthew. spinning. Get the I, air would, I would love to see a film with Matthew McConaughey and Danny DeVito. Right, that's what I want to see. I want to see Probably. them. What together. were Danny DeVito is a human wrecking ball or something? <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito is a joy and pleasure. And you oh, I love him, but he's just like, he's perfectly round. <laughs> Perfect. He's like an egg man. That's true. Uh, he oh, describes okay. himself, uh, especially his foot. That's a whole thing on Twitter. He's still two pictures of his foot. Oh, troll foot. Troll foot. <laughs> yeah, he says he's a troll man. He, he yeah. owns up to it. Yeah, yeah. he's proud of it. Um, so, fantastic job, ladies. Um, let's move Wait, on to we our- we should name our movie Game... Game... Ah, oh, fuck. It's I was too, too fucking clue. late. Because it's like, yes, you know, never mind. Everyone, you're all going to tweet me your let's, better names, and you're not here to think of it right now. Let's go ahead and cut that out of the edit as well, as well as my uh, forgetting of an intro. What about, what about um, the daddy disc drive? I love it. Daddy disc drive. Um, D drive. Business, business, business. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> old man Marquis, word. let's move on to your team's um, pitch. What are our prompts for team meet team? Got yes. the suspense <laughs> Bugs Bunny. 
Tatooine and a horror film uh, by Jay Bog. Jay Boge? Um, and Bugs Bunny Tatooine horror film with. <laughs> Shut, um, don't fucking say it. I know what you're going to say. Uh, can this come out? Yeah, this comes out. With a police badge. That's your um, horror film on Tatooine. Um, I think I'm at a disadvantage. Aaron just whispered. Aaron just looks so startled, too. He's like, Star what are the words? Right? <laughs> he didn't know that Tatooine was in Star Wars. So. Uh, uh, I thought it was. L- never mind. <laughs> what did you think it was? <laughs> no, nah, I thought it was some drug thing. <laughs> I also love that you outed him. He's your teammate. You're like, what a fucking idiot, right, guys? Do you want to come sit over here with this team? Is that Sometimes, what Aaron, when you get a tattoo, they put heroin. Yeah. That's what yeah. I thought. I could, it could have been that. Uh, Aaron. Yeah. Please take your uh, police badge. Okay. <laughs> Horror film on Tatooine with Bugs Bunny. So many twists. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Chris. Um, 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. Darkness. <laughs> it slowly rises up. Sand. Then rabbit ears emerge. <laughs> Aaron. A detective <laughs> with no bullets in his gun was left in the desert. Chris. Wakes up. Looks around. Quick. Wait, where's his wife? Aaron. <laughs> Duck prints in the sand. <laughs> Walking away, he sees three moons. Chris. It's like, my God, my wife, Donald <laughs> Duck. <laughs> no. He's gone. Uh, Aaron. Daffy Duck, Donald's cousin, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in a ship going away towards Chris. the three moons. Chris. Those bastards! I'll get them! Is what he yells. <laughs> Aaron. Uh, um, some sort of creature, a uh, meat creature from Star Wars that comes from the sand, gets on it, launches into the sky towards... Chris. Towards the son of... God. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we were both thinking the same thing. Like, God? I'm, just, I'm really sorry for what happened there. Just, the horror is that Disney infiltrated that Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> Why were they there? Oh, what were they doing? I he checked his pockets. Where's my wife? <laughs> She's tiny. I married Thumbelina. She's travel size. <laughs> the beginning of that pitch started off so well with you saying darkness rises. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you imagine how horrifying that'd be though if it was just like black no, coming from I the floor? I don't know like, what ah, darkness ah. rising looks like. Can I just switch That's teams? the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name? Darkness Rises. Yes. Oh. Isn't Darkness Falls a movie? It should be called, uh, it should be called Duck Season. Um, wow. Oh. Uh, I, I'm, I'm I know, I had chills. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> uh, so that's the pitches. Um, what about our name? Well, well, I thought you had her name. Darkness, Darkness, Rises. Darkness Rises. Oh, I was going to say Looney Dooms. <laughs> oh, that's good, too. That's good. See, that was See, awesome. Right. I was thinking, what's up your wife, Doc? Oh. But, yeah. That works, though. I wasn't uh, even listening to Chris. What was it? Looney Dooms? <laughs> Looney Dooms. <laughs> Looney, Do- Looney Dooms. Looney Dooms, oh, Darkness Rises. I like Dooms. Okay. Yeah. That works Ooh. perfectly. Yeah. The post. All right, you just got to write yourself a writing credit. Practically makes... Uh, there we go. Um, Ducks. From here, so earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to give points to Team Me Team for that what? amazing film. Um, that was actually really, I really want to see that. Um, see where you're Directed by, obviously, J.J. <laughs> Abrams. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But, uh, so, everywhere. congratulations, gentlemen. Um, before we move on to our uh, redemption points, I do have a little something, something to read from our friends at uh, Sherry's Berries. Uh, Christmas is next week. With only, uh, how many days we got left? Like a couple weeks? 80. 80 days left. I'm not sure that's accurate. It's a long month. Left yeah. to shop. Uh, wrap up and deliver your gifts. Uh, give this incredible, delicious gift and skip the crowds altogether. Buy Sherry's Berries in seconds. Um, the offer is uh, freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries, starting at $19.99. That's over a 40% savings or double the berries for just $10 more. You just need my code to take advantage of this deal. Um, the code is on the spot. Um, choose berries dipped in tempting white milk and dark chocolate goodness, um, or you could top them with chocolate chips, decorative swizzle, or nuts. An incredible gift um, that's different to send a holiday cheer to someone you love. Um, visit berries.com, um, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Click on the microphone in the top right-hand corner of the site and type in on the spot. Uh, it's the perfect gift without the hassle. Uh, go to berries.com, click on the microphone, and type in on the spot. Um, order them today. And we actually have some uh, Sherry's Berries here what? that we're actually going to use for our redemption game. Yes. Oh, um, sweet. And uh, let's find out what the, the points are so we know who um, 
is going to be doing our Son little game. Ooh. I'm excited. That was a hefty round. Uh, yeah. That was a hefty round. Uh, a lot of points for movies. Movies uh, are a good thing. Well, this even I has like, like a has That's a sweet movies. little like here. You could put this on your head. Um, oh, and do you like a little baby bonnet. So uh, these are actually yeah, really go. fantastically good. <laughs> it's, it's a, now Chris can take it off. Yeah, I know. I was about to say, like, <laughs> so we get to eat berries. You can eat berries. Um, but uh, so what I'm going to do? These are these are quite large. Um, but Thank uh, you. you don't know my mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> so one of you is going to be the plate, and one of you is going to be the eater. Um, and what I want is I'm going to put uh, 20 seconds on the clock, and uh, I'm going to give you a few berries, and the the I'll give you points for each berry, and. Uh, what you need to do is one of you needs to put hand pan back. The other one needs to be the hands for holding the berries. So oh, who's going to be the hands? Who's going to be the? You? Or are uh, you feeding me? Baby? I'm done either way. All right. Let's. Uh, Got to pick. Uh, I'll eat them. All okay. Right. <laughs> done. Um, so there you go. Let's get um. Let's get some hands out. Uh, uh, can which I, one? Which one? What's, what's your preference? Here what's your preference? I want these white ones. Okay. Stand right say, there. It feels like a petting zoo. So okay. Careful around the oh. meg. Lindsay, Don't there you go. Hand you. Hand your back. 20 seconds on the clock. I'll hand you another star if you can get through that one. Right. Um, oh, ready? If I can get through it. <laughs> Set. Go. Go, mate. Go. Oh, my gosh. She took I've that whole... It, oh, okay. So feel free to bite wow. as far as you want. Are we supposed to be watching this? <laughs> right. I'm racing properly. <laughs> <laughs> Should I act really into it? There you go. That's like, one. Yeah. You want another one? There you go. Right here. Another like, one. I feel two. like I'm interrupting <laughs> something. Oh, Properly placed <laughs> for ingestion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she almost took my finger. I saw she that. went for the second berry even after the bell rung. <laughs> yes. That was quite impressive. That was pretty that, tasty. That was on that last berry. Would you guys like a Sherry's berry? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but only, only if I can eat it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you eat it off of his stomach? Can we do yeah. one of those? I- I'll do it if you get points for it, sir. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> No, Chris, get the. <laughs> there there are people uh, on the internet. You, you want a Sherry's Berry? I'm fine. Um, There's those a are, those Sherry's those. Berry graveyard next to me. I'm this good. looks yeah, delicious, um, but Matt, I need you to demolish point. those. My tenacity, I think, is worth some um, points. So I'm going to go ahead and. I feared for my fingers. And yeah. do uh, 10 points for each berry, yeah. which will bring you uh, catching up pretty close to the guys. Um, and we'll give two berries because you got you, yeah, even no. after the bell rang, you you got that last Thank berry. I was like, no, um, you took the shot at the buzzer. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah definitely the. Yeah. That kind I did the fade That's away. a sports thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's good. actually high school musical. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sports um, thing. I learned that from NBA Jam. Uh, so let's go on to our third and final game, which is quick thinking. We have a few categories that we're going to put up on the board, as well as a letter, and we're going to play a twisted game of hot potato while Lindsay gets uh, strawberry sticky. fragments off of her. I'm sorry, baby. Um, cool. Your teams are going to go back and forth with answers to the categories. Starting with the letter, the letter is going to change throughout the round, and um, you'll get points for good answers, and I'll be the one to decide whether or not an answer is good. And um, we'll put 60 seconds on the clock. And what is our first category? First category is questionable how-to blank books. So let's find out what great how-to books we got. How-to blank. Starting with the letter H. Um, and just because you have that wonderful look on your face, Aaron, that is, I, I can tell you have an answer ready in the barrel for the best how-to books starting with H. Six, six on the clock. Ready, go. How to Hindenburg blimps. Mm. Perfect. How to hogtie someone. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be good. How to milk your half wives. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to apologize. <laughs> for what no. Here. The verb is an M. How to huff paint. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? To M. Uh, how to how to make sex with the lady. <laughs> <laughs> I like the title. How to monarchy. Ah, uh, nah. Oh man. How to maneuver inside of a woman. <laughs> That's good. Good. <laughs> good thing to know. How to milk a woman. Oh, mm. good. Like better what about half wives? <laughs> <laughs> pee. Uh, how to pee while standing down, uh, sitting down. <laughs> I'm, 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 God damn it. No points. You stand down and pee. <laughs> how to projectile vomit. Nah. What? Ooh. How to uh, pr- proliferate uh, on a planet that does not have women. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> good, good one. <laughs> Pete. Pete. Keep going. How to procreate with mice. <laughs> nah. What? <laughs> uh, oh, time's up. How to how, orgasm without a partner? How to ovulate? <laughs> how to ovulate? <laughs> how to ovulate? We get a point for that one. That was no. the reverberation. Get out of here. Final the, strawberry bite. Uh, um, please, yeah, no. please. Yeah, we'll get points for that one. Uh, All right. um, strawberry rules. Although the how to ovulate, I just think that that's just someone just sitting with. there going, "It's happening right now." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
And it's moving. <laughs> oh, I feel it. It'll be graphic. Eggs are involved. Well, if you're going to teach someone how to do it, you got to be graphic, okay? That's true. Yeah. You can't just, you know. Diagram. Ain't no need to teach, y'all. Um, don't need to teach that. So that was a fantastic first round. Just a great natural ovulator. <laughs> <laughs> just born with it. Strong Chris, natural stop ovulation. Yelling, ovulate. It makes you think Please. of like Mozart syndrome where it's like, I've been ovulating since I was three. I'm just kind of early winner. Yeah. Mozart syndrome with yeah. ovulating. Yeah. Never kind of been a prodigy said child. Uh, let's find out what our second category is. Pause Goodbye, for dramatic everybody. effect. <laughs> uh, inappropriate pet names. Um, and I've just noticed you still have that band on your leg. Um, you are... I need the fucking letter, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to start us off. Okay, our starting good. letter <laughs> is V. Inappropriate pet name, starting with V. Lindsay. Vulva. You pl- gotta wait. <laughs> yeah. 60 seconds on the clock. Go. Vulva. Perfect. Chris. Uh, vaginal intercourse. Mm. It's a good one. Vagina liquor. Eh, too close. Ooh, come on. Uh, Vulcan dog. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> do <laughs> right. Oh, you'll do that. Vasectomy. Uh, uh, also. B- B. <laughs> uh, blowjob. Yeah. Uh, bottom of the ass. <laughs> <Good. Sure. laughs> Butt liquor. Top of the ass is That's great. too close to what they do. <laughs> oh my God. Botulism. Oh, your- Botulism. Oh. Yeah, that'd be a bad one. Bastard man. Bastard man. That'd be a good dog name. Ass. Salivate. No. What did he host? Yes. <laughs> Great pet name. Uh, slinky, 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 slinky. Good. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ovulate. Perfect. <laughs> uh, orgasm orangutan. Yes, that would be a bad name. Other woman. Ooh. Oh, good one. Uh, or, Oreo dump. I don't know, I don't know man. <laughs> Well, I'm really bad at that game, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I actually think you're actually pretty good at the game because I mean, that's just you just spouting whatever <laughs> words just were. I vomit out of my mouth. <laughs> it was, I just learned so much about your subconscious, right? <laughs> the next Urban Dictionary what word, the, guys. What is an Oreo What's an Oreo dump? dump? I mean, there <laughs> is an Oreo dump. I don't know if you ever Shit. seen it. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a strawberry in my drink. <laughs> I can just imagine someone sitting out on their back porch... God damn it, Oreo dump! <laughs> and the Back neighbors are just like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Um, points for Oreo dump. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Pretty um, points. What the hell is an Oreo dump? Yeah. That's what I said. I I'm don't trying know to what visualize it. Is. I want to Help us out. <laughs> it's, what is an Oreo dump? Is it when like, you eat different color foods, but it like yeah. you poop, and then there's like that block in the middle nope. that's a different color? No, yeah. the inside is really soft and nice, but the outside is like. Oh. Black and, what know. about the uh oh Oreo? How do you know what the inside is? What about the double like? stuffed ones? Well, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you see it and it looks strange. What's an you take it out, you take it Uh-oh's are inside out. Yeah. Wait, do they have cream on the outside? Oh, no, it's a vanilla on the outside. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. See, it's oh. a very messy Oreo. Yeah, right? Outside. Messy poop. Yeah, double stuffed Oreo dump. Don't even want to go there. <laughs> um, you call it Call your plumber. Yeah. Call that. yeah, that's when you see That was after position. some P.F. Chang's or Chipotle. Or pho. Or pho. Or pho. Yeah. Don't, um, you won't forget that dump. Don't be forget that dump. All right. um, You'll feel it Let's find out what our final points were. Oh, Shit. we were close. Uh, team, me team wins it with 160 over 140. Yeah. Congratulations, you overthrew the champions. I'll take Damn. it. But um, I won't like it. You'll take it? Thank you. You'll take the win that I'm giving you. I appreciate it. You know what? Yeah, you, you are no, giving them. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for joining us for uh, On the Spot. Join us uh, next week on, at Thursday at 5 o'clock for another episode. Uh, that's it, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>